Nuka-Cola can be found all across the wasteland, and some, like Nuka Quantum, can be rare to come by but very effective in combat, while others can be borderline useless, only healing a small chunk of health. The question is, can you beat Fallout 4 by only healing with Nuka-Cola? I started off as a normal person and by the end, I was a true Nuka-Cola superfan. Would you come to this house if you saw this staring at you? I'm waiting for you. I told the vault douche to piss off, but he refused. And as for my stats, I went with 5 in strength, for decent carry weight, 2 in perception, and who really cares? The fetus occupying a room in my house looked nothing like me, but before I could ask questions, the second or third world war started. I don't know history. I left my fake family for dead, but unfortunately they caught up and big boom. Casual vault stuff happened, I got frozen, and must have accidentally fell asleep, but luckily they woke me up just in time to witness my wife's murder. I got out of the vault, and man was I craving a nuka cola. I talked to Robot Man and headed to clear out Concord. The raiders here are very low level, nothing special, and even the death claw was so much of a pushover that I ended up raising the difficulty to normal. Don't worry that didn't last long. After that, I sought on my adventure to find a refreshing Nuka Cola, and after stopping by Trudy's diner and murdering Wolfgang and Simone, I discovered that she does not sell Nuka Cola, but has two stashed behind her counter, the greedy bitch. So I stole them. Yet she somehow knew every time, so I just ran away from her, as the two regular Nuka Colas were not worth the loss in health. It was time to continue on my quest to find Nuka Cola. But to no avail, I found myself at Diamond City with Piper bitching at some guard. After promptly running past them, I discovered multiple Nuka Colas spread around Diamond City Market, just sitting there, waiting to be taken. So I took them alright. After I had a decent stockpile of cola, I sought out to find Nick Valentine. On my way to Park Street Station, Swan came out, but luckily some poor raider distracted him. I also found a Nuka Cherry in a vending machine to add to my arsenal. The trigger men were like an unshielded toe, and I was the leg of a table. Because you stub your toe, yeah. Further into the vault, Dina was sort of hard to kill because for some god awful reason I was using a pipe weapon. When it was time to deal with Skinny, I may have overdone it, as they were all kissing the floor in under 5 seconds. Back at Diamond City, I talked to the living toaster and we decided to rob one of the locals' houses. I stole the key from the mayor, and we found his hidden sex dungeon. Dogmeat sniffed a cigar that was probably inserted into someone at one point, and it was time to face Kellogg. The synths inside could easily drain my health, but at this point I had a decent stockpile of Nuka beverages, so they stood no chance. As for the cereal synth, I sent him back to his manufacturers with the butt of my shotgun. The big blimp arrived in town, and it was now time to recruit Preston's stupid settlements. But there was one problem. I was fresh out of Nuka Cobblers, and no one I came across sells them. So I headed to Nuka World. This stupid damn assault trunk kept bullying me, but after running away, I eventually lost him. In the subway tunnel, I shot what's-his-name because he's faking it. There's no such thing as having a bad time at Nuka World. After making it to Nuka World, there was no way in HE double hockey sticks that I was making it through the gauntlet. So I skipped it by unchaining this door through this little crack. Doing this kind of breaks the game, but I'm sure that won't come back to hurt me later. After running through the entire park picking up every Nuka Cola I could get my grubby little hands on, and even buying out the merchants of all of them, I was now ready to head back to the Commonwealth with 7 Nuka Cherries. 34 Nuka Colas, 2 Nuka Oranges, 8 Nuka Quantums, 3 Nuka Quartz, Victory, and Wilds, and 8 Nuka Grapes. I was ready for anything the game threw at me. Until I wasn't. I couldn't leave Nuka World because there's no power. The terminal here wasn't much help either, so in order to turn on the power, you must complete the gauntlet. Unless you go to the power plant and manually restore the power. So I sought off on my new quest. The plant was full of multiple legendary ghouls, and to say they were a pain in the ass would be an understatement. But after spending an hour in my own little version of hell, I made it to the control room, and for fuck's sake it's locked. 
I tried climbing on the side of the building and was able to press the button, but nothing happened. I even tried to glitch my way through by quick saving and loading multiple times over, but even if it would have worked, I still wouldn't have been able to activate the power. All hope had been lost, so I did the only thing I could and reloaded a save prior to starting Nuka World and lost all of my sodas. But not all hope had been lost. I found out that there is a bar in Diamond City that sells Nuka Colas, and what do you know it, there were my beautiful sodas glistening on the shelf, untouched. So I stole all of them. I also bought them completely out. Now that I finally have a reliable way to acquire colas, I could finally finish the game. I made it to Good Neighbor, murdered Finn, went through Serial Man's youth, murdered multiple and multiple raiders for Preston's gratitude, and before I knew it, I was returning from Virgil's cave off to murder a courser. The gunners couldn't take my low-powered pipe pistol and all fell to me, and in no time I was facing the courser himself. I launched a missile at him and blew his head off with a 10mm pistol. After rescuing the hostages, it was now time to get the railroad's help with analyzing the courser chip. And by get their help, I mean I wipe them off this earth like I wipe a booger on the bottom of my parents' car seat. After stealing a Nuka Cola and analyzing the chip, it was time to build the teleporter, except I still needed to recruit more settlements. Damn you, Preston. I also took this time to clear out the castle, and as per usual, the only real challenge was the queen. Now it was finally time to build the teleporter, and after getting into the institute, I debated on whether or not to kill father. Finally came to my senses and put a bullet right into his cranium. Luckily, none of the guards even cared that their leader was slowly bleeding into a puddle on the ground, but not my problem. Before facing the institute, I thought it would be a good idea to restock on Nuka Colas, but it finally happened. Scarlet ran out of Nuka Colas. Leaving and entering did nothing, as did waiting. I spent the next 30 minutes going to every vendor I knew of, but no one had Nuka Colas. So with the help of Google, I found several locations with Nuka Colas. I won't go over all of them, but one that I somehow forgot about was the third rail in Good Neighbor. The only problem was they didn't sell any, so I had to steal the ones behind the bar. No problem for me though. The guard at the entrance didn't seem to care much that I stole one, and as for the ones downstairs I just ended up taking into a lonely dark corner and taking them for myself. Now restocked on Nuka Cola, I was ready for the battle at the castle. And boy did this suck ass. Multiple synths with miniguns and coursers with hundreds of stim packs shoved up their ass. This was difficult. Even with the difficulty on easy, I died a lot. Mostly because near the end I ran completely out of Nuka Colas and ammo for most of my guns. So I resorted to taking out the coursers with a fat man and trapping myself in a room with a bunch of mines laid out, and eventually the text on the screen told me it was over. It was at this point that I took the third rank in Life Giver, which grants you the ability to slowly regenerate lost health. This is not healing with Nuka Cola, and unfortunately I did not realize this until I was in the Institute. This effectively fails the run, although it did not work at some points and it was still very slow, so it was still challenging. Anyways, after the battle I returned back to the dugout inn, but to no avail as Scarlet has yet to stock up on Nuka Cola. I was now almost defenseless, but I'm no bitch. I'll march into the institute and kill all of them. I was just about to enter into the tunnel when a flying saucer distracted me. The alien stood no chance against me and I popped his eyeballs straight out of his head. Now I actually had a half decent weapon to conquer the institute with. Heading into the tunnel, the turrets went down in one to two shots, along with the ghouls. The synths, while more tough, were no match for my space gun, and I made it in, and after playing a quick game, teleported my sad excuse for an army into the institute, and we marched forwards. Nothing stood in my way, not even the fake gorillas. Sean was still dead as a doorknob, and it was time to plant the explosive. This was the hardest part of the run. Multiple legendary synths locked in a small room, and someone gave one of them a fucking missile launcher. He killed me over and over, but after sitting in a corner, letting my health regenerate, I finally took him out, planted the charge, and was teleported out. 
I told Robo Sean I don't love him right to his face, teleported out of the Institute, pressed the big red button, and did not beat Fallout 4 by only healing with Nuka-Cola. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. If you did not enjoy the video, let me know why in the comments. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the Capital Wasteland.